What's going on guys, Mr. Wheels here with another episode of Sports Talk and tonight, once again, I'm going to talk about the Toronto Maple Leafs and specifically their restricted free agents heading into the 2013-2014 season. Now, just to recap, the Leafs have added um, in the offseason players like Jonathan Bernier, David Clarkson, and David Bowen, um, which will no doubt um, help them out, and they've got rid of um, second line center uh, Miguel Grabowski. Now, um, when it comes to their restricted free agents, the two names that pop out um, immediately for this year are Nazem Kadri and Cody Franzen. And to start off with Nazem Kadri, um, first of all, last season he had 18 goals and 26 assists in 48 games and he is right now penciled in to be the second line center um, in replace of Grabowski for the upcoming season. Problem is, is that he's an unrestricted or a restricted free agent and needs a new contract and this has been going on and this is nothing new guys um, I'm just I just finally decided to give my opinion about it. Um, the contract talks with um, the restricted free agents have been going on all summer and Kadri wants um, preferably a long term deal and he feels like um, he's being misrepresented. Well, um, the Leafs are in a position where they can give him a, a bridge contract um, similar to P.K. Subban, uh, what Subban got last year, and that was around um, just over about 2.5 million, just below 3 million is what um, Subban got, and he went on and had, had a career year. Now, Kadri put up career numbers um, so far in his career, um, but in my opinion, what um, would bar him from uh, getting a long-term deal or a couple of things. One, he played a shortened season, so he would need to be productive for a full 82-game season. And secondly, the biggest issue is the Leafs have um, cap problems now because they gave a lot of money to um, Tyler Bozak and uh, David Clarkson both over $20 million and um, each got over a five-year contract for both of those players. And um, the other thing I, I find with Kadri is he's going to be playing the center position when he gets his contract signed and he's not a natural, I don't see him as a natural playmaker. He's a scorer, he can score, he's proven he can score, but if he's going to be on a line with, um, let's say, James Van Riemsdyk and David Clarkson in order to keep the top line of um, Bozak, Kessel, and Mufo together, then, you know, he can play center, but he's not a natural fit is what I'm trying to say. And I think that a bridge contract would be um, more reasonable considering he's only played 99 games um, in a Leafs uniform. Now, like I said, um, P.K. Subban um, got uh, a bridge contract last year. He sat out, which is what uh, Kadri is threatening to do. And um, But the difference is, is that P.K. went on to have a career year and, and you got to ask yourself is Kadri really going to do that for the Leafs? Um, he, Kadri wants um, something similar to what John Tavares got um, which is the reports are five year five or six years sorry at 5.5 .5 million dollars and there is no way the Leafs can do that with their cap issues and I really don't think Kadri is even close um, 
So he's not worth that kind of money. He hasn't proven himself that much. Um, now he says he understand that Nelson Kennedy says he understands the Leafs' um, cap problems and their situation and their need to sign him. But if that was the case, he would have already signed the contract by now. So I, my opinion of this is he needs to shut up and focus for training camp, sign the contract, and get on with it. Moving on to Cody Franzen, similar situation. He had sim he had career numbers, or he tied his career numbers with 29 points in 48 games. Um, but only four of those were goals, and the rest were assists. And um, again, this is a guy that would be, he's going to be a key part of the Leafs defense because, in my opinion, they still have holes on defense. Um, I'm really surprised they didn't get rid of Dion Phaneuf, um, but that's another story. And again, Franzen is threatening to sit out, but yet he says he, on the other hand, he says he wants to focus on the upcoming season. So he needs to shut up. Again, I know that's maybe kind of harsh, um, but nobody else is going to say it, so I will. He needs to shut his mouth and just sign whatever they're willing to give him and have career numbers again. And what I mean by that is not tying his career numbers again. He needs to set new career highs. So does Kadri if they want big money. And, you know, they need to help the Leafs get back into the playoffs and past the first round um, in a better way than they did um, this past season. That series against Boston should have never went seven games. And if it wasn't for James Reimer, the Leafs probably would have been out. And Kadri, uh, I just want to um, make everybody remember that except for really his goal in the, in the last game they ended up losing, that seventh game in the playoffs, Kadri really didn't perform that well. And I don't, re I don't remember um, Cody Franzen really being um, much of a contributor on offense either. In fact, I blame Franzen for um, more of that um, final goal in the seventh game than I would Reimer. And so, to me, these guys aren't worth the money they're asking for. They need to shut up and play hockey. So, that's all i got to say about that. Um, slap the like button. Subscribe if you like what I have, had to say. And I'll see you next time.